Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Today's video, this is going to be really exciting if you're like a vlogger or you make YouTube videos or you want to get into making YouTube videos or you just want a really nice camera for like traveling or vlogging or taking just family photos. I'm going to be unboxing my brand new vlogging camera in this video. It is the Sony ZV-1. I'm going to be showing you all the features that I love and why I chose this camera. And you guys know that I don't do tech reviews, um, so I'm going to link some of the videos down below that help me make the decision to purchase this camera. Kind of also get like a professional insight. Of course, this video might be helpful for those of you who are just beginners, who don't understand what aperture is, what an f-stop is, what ISO is. It's going to be great for those of you that do not understand what a DSLR is, how to move all the settings and all of that. You're going to love this because you can literally turn it on and go. I'm not even kidding. I decided on this camera because I really needed something lightweight to vlog with. You guys know I do a lot of like shopping vlogs and I like to vlog on this channel quite more than I used to now so I needed something that is really compact and small and not as intimidating as my other Sony. I have a Sony a6400 which is what I do a lot of my sit down videos with and it records in 4k just like this one. This one's recording in 4k right now. That camera is so heavy and it's overwhelming to take it places. Not that I care what people think but it does make it kind of a little more awkward when someone is staring at you while you talk to yourself to a camera. So this is going to be just the perfect little camera that is a lot less intimidating, easy to throw in my pocket, in my purse. I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling and get into the unboxing and the rest of the video. Today we are in my office because we are going to be unboxing my brand new vlogging camera. I'm so excited for this camera for a lot of reasons that I'm going to talk about. But for now, let's get into the unboxing so I can show you guys what I got. I did order this on Amazon, so I will link it because this is a kit and also I think it has a little bit of a better deal on Amazon. Last time I checked and it comes with this photo video art suite. It comes with photo mirage, video studio SE, painter essentials, paint shop pro after shot. I personally don't use this stuff because I am certified in Adobe. Sweet, so I use Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop. So this is kind of like, eh, kind of pointless, but if you're a beginner, this would probably be really great for you to get with the kit because I know each one of these softwares costs $50 to $100 a piece, if I'm not mistaken. I might actually be giving these away to somebody. Um, just stay tuned on my Instagram stories just because I know this isn't something that I will personally use we have a carrying case for memory cards this they had a bunch of different kits but I got this one in particular because I'm notorious for losing my memory cards and I really need a little case like this I do have a case which I will show you guys is this right here but this I tend to stay away from it because when you open it it has these pockets and you can't really see the memory card that you're grabbing so it's a little bit frustrating and this one um, the memory cards have like little coffin slots so you'll be able to see all of your memory cards. Well, it's actually pretty heavy duty. <laughs> this is just kind of like essentials you need as a video creator whenever you really start getting into it. It's just stuff like this because I have like 50 memory cards. So you can put like your smaller ones and then this is for the larger ones for larger cameras which I might actually see if I can remove this insert and get another one of these because I don't think I'll be using this side. I also have a little camera case and this is going to be so handy because you guys will see the size of this camera and why this in particular is going to be amazing for the camera. You do have like some pockets and some 
I don't know why it closed it. So you do have a pocket in the front. You could even slide your phone in there because it's like the size of like a 12 Pro. Um, we have a pocket in here. We have a zipper up here to put memory cards or extra batteries. It's really cushioned so you know your camera will be safe. And of course it has a strap. I did order this in white and I'm a little concerned right now because the box doesn't show it in white. But this does tend to happen. Like my white Canon SL2 arrived in a box with a black camera on the front. So I mean... It probably is white. They just, you know, they're probably just not going to make different boxes for them. So, you guys see how small this box is? Look how small it is. So, you can already tell how small this camera is going to be. I'm so excited for that because vlogging with a super heavy camera is quite the workout. Other, other way. Okay. So, it, is, it is white. Light. Yay! Manny's the one holding <laughs> the camera to record this unboxing, you guys. He's so supportive. He's more excited than me. He's like, are you going to open it? Open it now. And I can vlog at the gym. Yeah, you can. You can make little videos because if you turn it vertically, it automatically makes a format for Instagram. Here we have the little dead cat. I hate that word, but this is what you use for the microphone for noise reduction. So we have that. And of course, we have the, this charger. It doesn't come with a, like a charging dock for your batteries, but I already ordered that on Amazon with charger. extra batteries. I already ordered a battery dock for and extra batteries for this camera because this camera life, since the camera is so small, the batteries are small. So the camera, batter, the camera battery life is not the best. So I don't know, but that doesn't bother me because every camera I've had, I've always had to have like three or four extra batteries anyway. So that's not really changing anything for me. This is the battery. You guys can uh -oh. see how baby that this battery is. Let me just show you in comparison. This is this is how you can see how baby wow. this camera is or this battery is. So and this shows you how big my Sony is because my Sony is way too heavy to vlog with with the lens that you know actually makes it worth vlog like makes the quality worth the vlogs looking nice. Here she is. Ooh, <gasps> she beautiful. is pretty. Oh my gosh. So she does have the flip out screen and I'm going to tell you guys this is amazing for Sony because Sony for the longest just sucks at making viewfinding cameras like these little viewfinders. They always put them at the top and then they put the shotgun mic at the top and then you put the, the you know an external mic so the audio can be better then you can't even see yourself because the mic covers the the viewfinder so I had to get like a whole cage to be able to mount the mic somewhere else so this is just amazing that they finally did this so this does have the 360 mm. you can shut it to protect the LCD screen and this is a point and shoot camera so you cannot change lenses on this camera which is probably the oh my bad it's probably the only thing that a lot of people are going to be picky about that are going to kind of hate but if you're coming from a vlogger standpoint someone that makes content the way that i do on youtube this is such a great camera i always wanted to get um the g7x which, which is another point and shoot that you know looks kind of like this i'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with it because it was a hot thing for quite a while now but the G7X has so many different flaws that I didn't like, a lot of lagging, um, especially with the autofocus. And that's kind of why I got talked out of the Canon G7X, why I never bought that one. Um, I just didn't really like that there was so many flaws and it was so expensive. Um, this camera is about $800. I did purchase the kit with the vlogger stick, as I will, vlogger kit, as I will show you guys. And this was about $946. With taxes, it came out to about $1,026, and I paid for the fast shipping. So in total, I paid like $1,050 for this kit. And if you guys know, the G7X runs about the same, but it does not have all the features that you know this camera has so I will link some videos down below comparing the two because I'm not a tech expert but I have watched some really good videos here on YouTube so I'm going to give credit where it's due and let you guys go watch somebody who knows what they're talking about we're going to unbox this baby right here this is the vlogger kit 
Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys what this does. <laughs> Let me do that first. I'm all over the place. So this is called a dead cat. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this is if you vlog or are into cameras at all. But right here, there is a built-in microphone. This microphone is probably better than the microphones on like the DSLRs that will run you about two grand. Another selling point that sold me is that I will not have to use an external microphone with this camera, although the option is still available because they did provide a little shotgun uh, mic adapter. I can't, a hot shoe, I think that's what that's called, a hot shoe. So why am I struggling to take this out? There we go. So you take this out. This is just like a little placeholder and you put the little dead cat on here. Interesting. So and far cute. yeah, and it's yeah. white. It matches the camera. Like I love the detail that they put into this. I don't know if you guys know this, but most dead cats are like a dark gray color. Like if you were to buy some, like an external one on Amazon, they're always dark gray. I love that they paid attention to detail with this. It's like a big old because to me, <laughs> I know, but yeah. But to me, aesthetic is like Turn kind of important. And it doesn't stick out as far. Yeah, it blends it's, in with the camera. Yeah, it's kind of like really handy. So yeah, that's another great selling point is that they did put a great microphone on this camera. Although I do have my tiny like road mic I can mount on it if I'm not happy with the quality, which that is to be discovered, I guess. But I watched a ton of videos and the audio sounds pretty darn good. So, okay. Now let's unbox the vlogger kit and then I will tell you guys why I chose this camera. So right here is something that they created specifically for this camera um, whether you can use this stick with other cameras I don't see why not it's Bluetooth enabled um, they did provide the one that well actually this comes with the 64 gig Sony memory card as well I thought I would have mentioned that especially if you're a beginner this will come with a memory card so here is the memory card 64 gigabits which is actually pretty good for vlogging actually a pretty decent amount I was buying 64 gigs for quite a while and then 4K. I went I went to a 256 gig one and then now I have a 512 gig one because <laughs> I do serious business here but yeah that's what this is alrighty guys now on to this thing I know you guys are wondering so this is a vlogger like a stick and this is let me just open it this is bluetooth enabled and it has like a remote control on it this was another thing that really sold me on getting the kit because this on its own cost about 150 dollars but when you get the kit you are saving quite a bit of money this is what it looks like and this is to vlog with like you literally hold this um, this Bluetooth connects to your camera and then we have these controls so you can easily take a photo, record, um, use the C1 button, which the C1 button is, it will give you the blurry background with this camera, but it is like a shortcut button, so technically you could switch that button to whatever you so want. You mount it? And the cool thing is it has a lock button, so you can lock this and that way you don't accidentally press anything. Also, this thing in the middle zooms in and out, makes your camera zoom in and out. So that'll help you stop and play between videos. Well, yeah, because normally I have to turn over the camera and like, you know, find the buttons in the back and stuff and this completely eliminates that. No, I will have, have this in the front. It turns into a tripod. Mm. as if it didn't have enough features right it okay, turns into a tripod <laughs> finally my arms won't get tired when vlogging like this is such such a lightweight convenient setup so if you're looking for a camera for vlogs and for you know showing products for product reviews like you're a beauty blogger you're going to freaking love this because it has this feature called product showcase and you turn it on and it will automatically put in focus anything you put in front of the camera. Like I don't know if you guys have ever noticed in my videos with this Sony, I have to kind of cover my face to get something in focus. You no longer have to worry about that with this camera. You could just, it'll just grab focus of whatever's in front of it instead. I'm gonna go get ready and actually shoot some vlogs with this so you guys can see what it's like. Alrighty. Thank you guys for tuning in. I was all over the place. I will link some good reviews below that are way more organized that I, than I am that will give you all the information, all the specs, all the recording stuff, like, you know, how many frames per second it records and all of that if you're into all of that because my channel is not a tech channel and quite frankly, you guys are going to get bored if I go on about this. 
but you know I can link you to another source if you're really interested in learning that all and I'm pretty sure you guys just want to see what the quality looks like on this um, because that's technically all I wanted to see to be honest but then I ended up learning way more than I needed to because I always do that but yeah I'm gonna go get ready and I will see you guys recording with this camera shortly Here we have the camera. I'm about to do my makeup on camera, of course, so you guys can see the quality of this and we can see how my future videos are going to look because this is the main reason I got this camera is so that I can do get ready with me's vlogging type of videos. Just a camera that's easy for me to carry everywhere. What is going to take some getting used to is not looking to the side for the viewfinder because before add the viewfinder on top so whenever you look on top it's like way less obvious and when you look to the side so bear with me on that I will try to look at the lens as much as possible because this camera is pretty reliable when it comes to the focus so I don't have to look at the viewfinder as much like literally look how fast this goes back and forth from my face to the product which is one of the main reasons why I got this camera like I can be like and I'm using this back to my face this back to my face I don't even have to wait like it's amazing and of course we have the shutter priority on but I'm trying to still figure out settings for the coloring and stuff so bear with me I forget I don't have to do this anymore I can just do this like even if I were to just put this in frame here, it's still going to focus on this even though it's on the side, which is pretty cool. Before I used to have to cover my face with the product for it to focus, now I don't really have to do that. You can still have me here in the back and this focuses no matter where on the screen that I put it, which is really cool. I'm going to get into the face doing my makeup, of course. I am just taking some moisturizer okay. so anyway I have quite a few things to do today I have some um, books I helped my friend order that I need to give to her I have to unbox some stuff here on camera Okay, so 
I'm done with my makeup. This is what it looks like. I went ahead and changed too because it was cold in here. I have something I want to unbox really quick. As if this vlog isn't full of unboxings, I have another item that I want to unbox from an Instagram shop. Um, it is a pink princess, shop pink princess. She sent this little note. I'm just going to take the box out. She's always so sweet and sends me stuff. And of course, her packaging is adorable, so I want to share with you guys what it is so this is got all this in the box open it and this packaging is just everything she puts so much effort look at the, the little um it's like a baggie i think okay much better now that you guys can see me hello to unbox it now so as you guys saw it has the adorable packaging Pink, gorgeous. So this is a bag. She is heavy. She feels so good quality. This feels really nice quality. So cute too. Just look at her. So she has gold hardware. Of course, this is kind of like a dupe of the reissue by Chanel, but of course it's not Chanel. <laughs> so it does have a back pocket here. And we have the double flap as well. So very, very similar. This looks just like my Chanel bags. Um, but she has her logo on it embossed in there. And we have some paper stuffing. And then here's the inside. This is such a precious bag. This is so cute. I cannot... Look at her. She's so pretty. Okay, so this is my Chanel Medium. My Medium looks like it's a little bit bigger, but it is skinnier. Like, if you look at it from the sides. Um, but it looks actually pretty close in size, which is kind of strange. I think that my Chanel is, like, maybe, like, a little bit taller. But they're pretty close in size, except this one, the Shop, uh, Shop Pink Princess one, is, like, you know, a little thicker. She thick. Or whatever. Love her. I'm like, where shall we put her? Right now, we will put her here. Oh, you guys can't even see where I put her. <laughs> She's down there. She is so pretty sitting on my shelf now. So this is what a video would look like if I were to just do a sit-down video using this camera. This is the quality. This is what the background would look like. Honestly, I am not mad at it, but of course I'm only looking in the viewfinder So this will all depend on whenever I put this footage into my computer Whether this quality is going to be good enough for me Whenever I'm editing and the final like product Or whether I continue to use my other Sony for sit down videos like this the Next feature I want to show you guys It will probably better be shown with me sitting down like this Because you'll really be able to tell with the camera on a still like mode So just focus on the background behind me and I'm going to click the button. This is a C1 button. Do you see how the background is now in focus? We click it again. Background is out of focus. So this gives you an automatic blurry background without you having to figure out all of the settings and do all of the hard work of figuring out what an f-stop is, an ISO, what aperture is. So this is technically just such a great little beginner's camera. If you're starting off your YouTube channel, you want something you could just turn on and go, you're gonna love this. Where has this camera been all my life? Dude, this autofocus is so fast, it's like amazing. I still can't get over it. And today we're going to be using this palette. And we're going to be taking this color. This is impressive. So impressive. Wow. So pretty, look. Oh, by the way, my nails are from the girl that made this lip gloss. Let me show you. Hold on. It has the cutest little company called Yasmin's Glam Room. And that's where my nails are from. I got a lot of questions in my last video. So her nails come in these adorable boxes. And let me show you what 
Well, of course, I've put some on, so there's some missing, but they come in these boxes. But these are super cute, so I will link them down below. And this lip gloss I was just showing you to focus products on. This is from her too, so I will link it below. Link her entire website to below because she has a lot of adorable products and I have pretty much most of them, so highly recommend her stuff. Okay, so it's nighttime right now. Mm -hmm. This is the quality at night. I just have this little light on in my car, but I'm gonna turn it off. And this is literally all just street lights. Wow. That's impressive. Look. Oh wow. Interesting. It's very amazing. Yeah, this is really good quality. I'm like, okay. Oh, and look, we got front row parking. Yay, VIP. So right here, we're not facing the street lights anymore. So you can see it starts see? to get a little bit bad. It lightens your face, but though. That's yeah. amazing. It's just like slow because the thing went down so far. Let's do this. Yeah, but it's kind of oh, like laggy. It's not. It doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. I'm saying the lights. Look, watch, watch. It's off. It's off. It's a little difference. Uh, but yeah, just a little, not too bad. Looks good. Very good. Yeah. I'm impressed. I hate when this happens. It's like hat hair. There we go. Before you weren't able to see yourself like that in the dark. Yeah, I know. Well, then again, I never took out my Sony A6400 to vlog too much because it was too heavy. So, but my phone can't do this, no. I realized that I didn't really go over photos with this camera. So here are some photos I took with it. Something to know is that if you don't hold the camera perfectly still, you will get a blurry image. But then again, this camera was not made for photos. This was made more for video. So therefore, you can do pretty decent photos with this camera, but you are going to get the best specs out of the, you know, vlogging and the video. But if you really wanted something to do both, um, this would do both for you. Uh, but yeah, that's everything for this video. I completely forgot to do an outro, so I'm so sorry, you guys. But thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you in the next video.